Hi, Lisa here. In this blog, I will be talking about Family Tree Maker 2017 and the media workspace. So let's go to Family Tree Maker. So we're in Family Tree Maker. We are currently in the plan workspace, so we'll just go and click on the media workspace. In the media workspace, this is where you can keep all you your video clips, images, audio clips, and all other media. Um, you will see that there's three panels. There is the group area, which is how you can list your change the way that your media is listed. And I will zoom in here so you can see better. Uh, you will see that I can, you can choose all media, the media category, which I will change. This is usually the way that I like. I have no audio, but it separates all my media into categories and there is uncategorized section which I do have some stuff in the uncategorized which is new which I will be attaching and moving to the correct people and linking the stuff which I haven't done yet. Then you can choose the source title so this shows like your source and then if there's media a credit with the source. You can change by person and you can see if there's media associated with a specific person in your family tree and then you can choose immediate family and if there is media attached to that person. Now I like to work in the media category away is usually how I like it. But then but right now we'll just go to all media for what I'm doing. Um, in the middle you will see that it shows the media that you have and over to the right you have a quick area where you can change the caption, the date, the categories, and the description. You can mark the photo private as well as the file name and location. If you mark a photo as private, what that means is it will not be viewable online. So if I click private, I've now made the this image private and if you look in the lower left there is a padlock which means it's private. Now I'm going to unclick it because that is an image I actually want public but should you post something that only you want. Um, also like this is the facts that I'm under and then you can go to links and what this will do is tell me if that media is linked to anybody and if it's linked to a fact, which this is linked twice. It's linked to Alice Ann, but it's also linked to Alice Ann for her birth. And then I can go to the notes and you can create notes. Now this fact does not have any associate notes. Um, so there, there's that way, but you will see up over in the left, there's the collection, which is currently one, and then there's the details, which clicking on the detail, we will make it nice and big. And you can see the image in the middle. I can choose to zoom in, and so I can make it 200. Okay, well, well that's too big. But I can make it 100%. Here's still, that's still too big. But you can play around. So now it's at 25 if you want to zoom in to, to read. You still get your media detailed over here. And then down below you get your links and your notes. Now I'm going to go back to collection for a second 
and I'm going to change this to media category so I can show you something where I actually have notes on it. Now for a census, so we'll go to the detail and if you look over here I've gotten the caption uh, and then I've summarized my way that I summarized the facts from the notes. But if you scroll down, the reason that I have a line is I copied the information from Ancestry when you came across it. And then so I just copied and put that in as well as their summary. And then below I've put the source and citation below. Now, if you look over here, it shows that it, it this census is linked to, the image is linked to the census and then the census is linked to the people. But if you go over to the notes, you will see that I have stuff. And what I have in the notes section for the census is the information that you get about the census from Ancestry. I've just copied that and put it there so that I can refer to it if I need it. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is the photo darkroom, but I'm going to choose a photo for that. So we'll just go and I'll just click on a photo. It doesn't matter which one because I'm not going to save my changes. But say, so we have a photo here. I can click on the photo dark room and you can change it light repair a um, moderate repair intense like it's changing the image if I don't like it and I want to save it I think it's too dark too bright advanced I can adjust the brightness and the contrast the saturation the sharpness. Now I'm going to just hit cancel because I don't actually want to save it. But that is something new that Family Tree Maker 2017 has. And I like it because if the image is too dark or too light, you can adjust the photo. And that is the media section of Family Tree Maker. Now there is another thing I want to mention that you can save. I have my photos sorted by the caption. And then as you can see this photo that I'm looking at says Ashley Pollock and John Marshall Dixon Jr's wedding one. Well that means I have more than one photo of their wedding. If I click here we are on photo two. Now, you can also save by the file name of a photo, but I like it saved by the caption. If you wish to change it though, you go to Tools, go to Options, and you will see that I have used caption instead of file name display for the photo, but if you didn't want that, you could just click uncheck it and hit OK, but I'm going to just hit cancel because I don't want to make that change. And this is how you use your media section of Family Tree Maker. It's quite simple. So thank you for joining me on this blog.